a website and service called Bug Herd. It's an Australian-based company actually, which is really cool. Uh, and Chris, this could be perfect for you and your clients. What Bug Herd is, it's a bug tracking software application. Now, traditionally when I hear bug tracking for web development, I hear really techni technical, boring, annoying crap. But with us, we have a whole range of websites, you know, under the Preneur banner, whereas the information marketing and my books and stuff, and then in the telco and the e-com site sort of stuff we have, we have a serious number of websites we have to manage across our little network. And Bug Herd allows us to do this very, very easily without any technical skills. So I wanted to show you how it works. So if you've got outsourcers who do web development for you or you're a web development company, um, what this allows you to do is create a uh, login for your development site for yourself um, and your team members. And then if you come across an issue with a website, maybe there's an image that's broken or a link that doesn't work on your website, you actually can just come in and use this little bug herd tool to actually very easily log that task. So let's say for example, this link here on the um, right hand side of this particular page, that first link there is actually going to the wrong page. There's a broken link on a site. All you have to do to actually notify a team member, hit the plus button, and then it changes the screen very slightly and you can click exactly on the area that is causing you the issue. So I'm going to click right here on that particular button and write what the problem is. This link goes to the wrong page, uh, it should be whatever it might be. So you just write up the visual thing of what it should be. Create the task, and that's my that's, that's now done for me. You know, I, I can go and add. Um, whoops, I can, if I just don't right click and close that, I can add another win. You know, maybe this is like oh, hang on, that headline is wrong. Please replace with obviously correct English and spelling would help. Um, but you can just visually log all these actual issues on the web pages, on your blogs, on your sales pages, on your membership sites, any sort of changes. And it doesn't have to be obviously a bug, like a broken link. It could be, hey, let's change this banner out to this particular thing, or let's change this affiliate offer to something else. Yep. Is that for Mac or PC? It's web-based. It's a web-based service, yeah. Um, and then you can see here that you know your team members, I won't go into the whole back end of it, but you can see what is open here on the website, I can click the, like hover over this headset, is, headline is wrong. Um, you can assign severity, you can assign it to team members. So you have a web developer, it's like you go and do this and then it appears in their inbox. Visually exactly what the problem is. So rather than go and change that broken link that goes here on the website that no one ever understands and can translate, it allows you to very easily visually say this is the link that's wrong, this is what you need to do. clients log in and use that image? That's what it's designed for. It's actually originally designed for web development companies to actually give clients access. So you as a web developer have that and you go, Mr. Client, here's our website, we've done the draft one, go through and hack the hell out of it and mark it up with changes and suggestions and things. No longer have to actually come and sit next to you to do it, it's all visually done. We have taken this internally with our own staff because we treat, or our development treat me and our other managers like clients. We try and really have that relationship. So like their development team, we're the clients, they treat us in that same sort of way. So this is how we mark everything up because historically we'd send emails to the web team going that headline is wrong or that link is broken and it would take five iterations and a phone call to get the thing, thing right because people just misinterpreted emails. Whereas this is like, you can now see on this page, if I hover over that button where I clicked it, that's, you can, that's visually the actual thing. You can point it exactly where the, the issue was. It's where I clicked. So, someone, so if your team goes to that website, they'll see exactly where you clicked on the page. So he's like, this one pixel is wrong. You can get that anal with it which is really cool visually.